Hey guys, uh, very good evening to all of you. Welcome to the video number 550. First of all, I want to wish you a happy Republic Day. So as India is celebrating its Republic Day today um, on 26th of January, uh, we are also celebrating 550 videos on this channel right thank you so much for your love for your support and uh, i'm seeing that day by day we are growing a lot of people are coming to the channel they are commenting they're liking the videos and they are getting the becoming the part of this channel thank you so much for your support and love so in this as i started this mis automation series so i'm picking up uh, you know uh, the questions from from all of you any question which i think that that can fit into the you know this category of the mis automation i'm actually reading out that comment email and i'm trying to help you out that how you can do that if it is directly related to your day-to-day -day excel requirement so you're watching youtube.com slash c slash ajay kumar parmar and today in this mis automation series too we are going to develop a formula using the excel vba user defined function we also call them the udfs okay how to convert the currency in the words so if you are new to the channel these are the 50 playlists which i have created for you on excel excel vba ms access front end ms access vba and the outlook vba so you can go ahead and you can watch the videos in this series right now many of you have asked me that uh, why i uh, always upload the videos in english well the reason is when i started this channel two years back i was not having any idea that we could you know uh, we we would be able to come this far i just started it as a hobby guys so uh, i also want to help the entire community not just within india but outside india as well however going forward i want to tell you something if i receive a question in hindi or maybe if i request you know if i get the request from you that you want the video on your subject on your query in hindi i will definitely go ahead and upload the video in hindi hindi language okay so now i want to quickly go ahead and read out the the, the comment i received so as you can see here two days back uh, naresh sharma has commented this how we can write a figure in indian rupees uh, 1 lakh then 10 lakh and thousands and then you know one crore how i how can i do this so i i replied that i will look into it so basically he has the numbers and he want to convert these specific numbers into the currency so let us go ahead and guys and see that how we can do that now the first method naresh and to everybody the first method is very simple what you can do is for example you can write here 1000 you can write here 10000 and then maybe you know 1 lakh and so on and here you just write the you know those values for example i can say 1000 and then here i can write 10000 right then 10000 and then maybe uh, here you can write uh, 1 lakh for example right now so basically similarly you can make the entire chart you can you can write all these uh, you know the whatever the required currencies you can write this manually and anywhere if you are writing that for example in the in this sheet if you are using this 1000 somewhere you know then what you can do is you can simply go ahead and use the vlookup so you know the vlookup function right if you do not know the vlookup function please go and enjoy the playlist excel vlookup and match uh, the playlist there is a playlist there as i said that we have got 500 playlist here so you will understand the entire vlookup there so vlookup you can look up this and you can go to the sheet and you can simply say that i want the second column right because in the second column i have my currency so if you if you go and let's say you have here um, a number called uh, you know this 10000 and if you if you just go and drag this you don't have to freeze this a to b because a to b we are not using any cell reference we are not saying a2 to b10 we are completely selecting the a to b so that means you can drag it and you'll get the answer i know this is not a good way actually because you know the reason is uh, if you have uh, a number here and you want if you if you have a 1000 here then you don't want to write every time a new vlookup right so this is just the idea i wanted to give you maybe if that suits you great but we are going to make a universal we are going to make a universal solution for this that on any cell of this workbook any cell in any worksheet you write the formula which you are going to create and the formula will work for you 
that will be very powerful and there you will see the power of actually VBA so I was talking about the UDFs user defined functions now I have uploaded almost 10 15 videos on Excel VBA functions and Excel VBA user defined functions Excel VBA functions are the functions which you by default are there for you Excel UDF functions they are called the user defined because you can create your own functions if you don't find any function in VBA which is able to help you in any situation you can create your own functions so we are going to create our own function today so what is the first thing we will do now if you want to know the basics of UDF please go and see the playlist Excel VBA functions I talked about there I talked about the basics the basic rules the fundamentals you know which you need to keep in mind while writing the UDFs so let us go ahead and start this the first thing which you will do you will write this with the name of function now you can give it a name any name you want to give it right maybe if you want to get popular in your company you can write your own name as well because this function then people will use in the front front part okay I mean you can do whatever you want to do I would suggest you you create something very specific something very meaningful not like this but just for the fun purpose I'm just gonna create it by my name okay or by <laughs> why by my name I think uh, let's go and create it this by the Naresh name okay because he asked this question so here function Naresh will hold a value which is a as string uh, a as long and then what function returns the function has to return a string okay you press enter and then you get the end function by default now one thing I want to clear here quickly though I have already explained the basics of this as I'm again repeating please go and visit the Excel VBA function playlist now this is going to be Naresh function this means that whenever the user write here Naresh you see that guys the function is coming on your Excel wonderful right what a nice way to get popular so you write this and then what is this this particular thing let me just go and uh, increase the font of this so that you shouldn't be having any problem so I just go and make this 11 now a as long now a is my variable you can create whatever you want i j k l whatever what do you mean by it? basically what happens whatever the value the user will select here for example i write here 1000 okay now you want to create a function which will use this value and in return of this value you know we will have the answer we will have this answer as thousand so how are you going to do that obviously when you write the narish function function always demands the parameters right in excel also when you write the functions you always put the parameters you use the parameters parameters means input values so i want to select this and i want to press enter the moment i press enter because i have put the break code here the function is going to run here in the you know break mode but i just wanted to explain you look at this whatever value you'll select in your function that will reflect here right and that's the reason I'm keeping it as a long data type because this is always going to be a number but the output which you will get or, or from this function when I press enter I want to see here 1000 which is going to be a string so that's why I have written here the data type as string now let us go ahead and let us you know plan the rest of the part so in this case you can use the if conditions as well that if the a equals to uh, you know this 1000 then write in the the you know write the o and e and then thousand in the characters but i'm not really going to talk today talk about the if functions we are going to we, we are going to talk about the select case which is very interesting and very very easy to write so instead of the if function you can also write select case statements i talked about this in one of my excel vba loops playlist series go and watch the videos on the if what is the solution if you don't want to write the if you know if then and end if we have the select statements as well they are very easy for example this is how you write okay so first of all the first thing which you will uh, write here is you will write here select select case when you write the select case you have to write here the what is the value which is going to come on which you want to do the investigation or want to put the criteria right so select case comes with a and then you must write here to close this and select right now this is how we write the if as well when you write the if you know we always write the end if same way this is how we write now select case is a vba word vba word keyword you have to write it and then after the select case you have to write that variable on which you are going to put the condition you know that a is a can have any value 
that depends on what the user is going to choose from the Excel, isn't it? So that's how you write it. Now, what is the next thing we want to do here? Now here, we will be going to write our conditions. So this is how we write. Remember, this is the alternate to the if function. You can use this instead of using the if functions, right? So here, in this case, what we will do, we will simply start, you know, with this, uh, the value. So we will say that if the case is going to be 1000, then what you need, right? So we need Naresh, which is your function, it should be equals to 1000. This is how we're going to write, put it within the quotes, right? Just go and copy this and paste this again and again. So I go and paste this in this way, okay? Now, for the 10,000, if my case value is 10,000, I just go and write here 10,000, okay? You can even, I mean, write 10,000 rupees as well. That's all up to you, I am I am not sure. What do you want to do but you can whatever you will write this is what you're going to get right so if your case actually is one lakh right so if it is one lakh then you can write here one lakh as well so this is how we can write the one lakh okay and um, then similarly if it is um, uh, let's say if i just put one more zero over here you want to show it as one crore so you can write here one crore as well right one crore rupees for example and just go and write it here rupees as well okay so this is how it is and i just go and delete this because i think that these are on only the values which uh, naresh wants in his question the question he commented okay okay uh, now guys uh, i want to explain you this quickly now you see what happens when you write the select case and whatever the variable you write you know so vba will read this case 1000 as the value of a automatically it will consider right because you have written here case b if you just want to write here b this is not a good way of writing you know why because b is not a variable you have not defined anywhere b so either you define this also as b i mean as simple as that right so whatever the value a will hold you can actually go ins inside the select case and the end select and you can define it in this way right and then obviously if you're wondering why i'm writing every time naresh equals to what is naresh well guys naresh is your function name and in excel vba functions there is a rule whenever you write the function before the end function you have to write the function name and then equals to what so that when you go and press enter this naresh can give you some output and that is the reason, you know, we use the function. Why use the function? Why you press enter every time when you write? You know, obviously, because you need the answer. So have you ever wondered that whenever you use the VLOOKUP and you use all the parameters, you select the different, different table ranges, column numbers, and then when you press enter, how the VLOOKUP is able to capture? Obviously, guys, because Microsoft has done, you know, this sort of programming somewhere, which you cannot see right so same way same way guys as you work in the front part of the excel we are now working live in this so this formula and any other formula they are you know kind of made on the same concept on this visual basic programming language okay now let us go ahead and run this i put the break code here because you cannot run the functions using the f8 if i go and press f8 right now see i'm pressing f8 you see it is not working i hope you know that that is the difference between the subroutines and the functions but that does not mean that you can't run the function obviously when you go here and when you press enter so you see that naresh has selected this you know in the naresh function I have selected this D3 which has 1000 so the moment I press enter in the background because I put the break code this function will run. So what is the value in the A? You know the value in the A is 1000 so here it is going to be true. So you see that now Naresh is going to be equals to 1000 and immediately it will come out of this because at a time we can execute only one case statement it's not that every every statement is going to be executed no if it is equal to 1000 it will stop here it will not go in 10,000 and 1 lakh and 1 crore right okay it is going to stop here and finally when you you know run this look at this wonderful you got the answer okay now if i just go and remove this break code or maybe let me keep it here let's uh, let us go ahead and do this uh, let let me just make this 10,000 now look at this what is the value in the a value which you you know which you're getting from excel it is 10000 now so is this equal your case value in the case is is 1000 no it is not 1000 you know that so what is the value it is actually 10000 so you see that now it's going to capture 10000 immediately it
comes out of your this select statement and finally when you run this this comes as 10,000 rupees okay if I just simply go and remove this break code now you see how fast this it this immediately runs so when you're gonna write here 1,000 or you're gonna write here 10,000 or maybe you know you're gonna write something like this you can even drag these you see that you can drag this and this is how it is going to come now why it is working because every time when you drag you know the parameters will change so here it it is picking up the d4 here it is picking up this d5 and so on you know so it behaves the same way you know as you when you write the functions in the front part so this is how you can do all this stuff so you can bring all these case special i mean maybe you need some more numbers just keep on adding here case statements and you know you will be through with this okay now one thing i realized in this particular case is that just in case if you don't have a number for example you have something like double seven you see that this is gone because 77 is not entered so so what is happening in the background if i just put the break code here to explain you again if i just go and press enter it's picking up 77 but no way we have the 77 criteria and as you can see here it is going but it is not going inside this function we are not executing this because there is no case value which has 77 so maybe you would like to if you want to keep it blank that's good but if you want to you know maybe display some another information you can write here in after you know you cover all the things you just write here that finally if the number is greater than let's say zero okay then what the narish function should do so you can write here that narish equals to and then you can write here uh not valid for example maybe you can write in this way right so and the same thing you can again copy and paste it uh, if the number is in the positive uh, negative so you can also go and write that if, if this is less than negative again you can display there not valid now what is the benefit of this the benefit is this that you know if i just go and press enter you know what will happen first of all all these with the cases we have written the conditions we have written they will be executed in this sequence is it is it 1000 you know it is not 1000 it is 77 so it's not going to go in the in this area the ratio equals to 1000 similarly this will avoid this will also be avoid, avoided and this will also be avoided once you have testified all the conditions finally you're gonna check is it greater than zero yes so you can say that not valid positive number or whatever you want to call it okay so the moment i run this you see that i have my answer as let me just execute this quickly let me reset the code as well and i just go and remove the break code there we go look at this so you got the finally not valid answer okay and when you drag this next time this is what you get right in case if i just go and write here any negative number again guys you will see this not valid so this is just for your extra information okay so this is the function which we have prepared i hope you have enjoyed this automation series and as I again said that if you want to know more about functions please go and check out my excel vba function playlist i'll see you in my next video and thank you so much Naresh, for posting this wonderful question do subscribe to the channel and have fun rise and shine guys bye bye i'll see you in my next video